Hello everyone, this is a project my partner and I made for our computer networks class. It uses a Raspberry Pi as a wireless access point, a web server, as well as a file server. For our project, the hardware that we used was a Raspberry Pi B Plus model, a 16GB SanDisk micro SD card for the operating system, a Panda USB wireless network adapter for the access point, a Belkin 4 port USB 2.0 hub, a Logitech keyboard and mouse, and a 320 gigabyte Seagate USB 2.0 hard disk drive. Our Raspberry Pi is powered by a 5 volt 1500 milliamp external power adapter. It has two USB ports used for our Belkin USB hub and our wireless network adapter. We also have the Pi hooked up to our home network via the Ethernet port so that we can broadcast the internet as well as access our web and file server from anywhere on the network. This is our Belkin USB hub that is externally powered so that our hard drive will be recognized by the Raspberry Pi. We also have our keyboard and mouse connected through the hub. This is our 320 gigabyte hard drive that's being used for storage on our file server. And here is our keyboard and mouse that we're using for our Raspberry Pi. For our wireless access point, we needed to install and configure host APD for creating and enabling the wireless access point functionality, UDHCPC to create a DHCP server on the Pi, and establish the IP address it uses and distributes, NAT for the network address translation to allow the wireless adapter to connect through the Ethernet port, and it broadcasts a 802.11g wireless network with WPA2 PS security. To test the functionality of our wireless access point, we used a program called Insider to monitor the signal strength of our access point at different distances and different floors in our house. We start the Insider monitoring at the access point location and move out of the room on the second floor that it's in into the hallway for that part of the house. We go through a door towards the front of the house on the second story where we reach the max length that it is capable of getting a good signal. At this max length, the signal strength is at about negative 72 dBm. We then take the stairs down to the first floor and we reach the max length at the front of the house in the entrance way. At this point, the signal strength is negative 72 dBm. We then turn back around and go towards the access point on the first floor and see that right underneath it we have about the same signal as what we had on the second floor. At this point, the signal strength is negative 45 dBm. In order to run a web server, there are several things that needed to be installed and configured on the Pi. Apache was installed to allow a server to be run on the Pi. PHP was installed to be able to access the database that will be run on the Pi. MySQL was installed to be the database that our web server and web page uses. VSFTP was installed to allow applications like FileZilla to connect to the Pi in order for file transfers to occur between the PC and the Pi's memory storage. PHP MyAdmin was installed to handle the administration of the MySQL on a web page. WordPress was installed to be able to utilize our web server as well as our database and was used for our test case. Here we're testing out the web server on a Raspberry Pi. To demonstrate our web server, we start with opening a web browser on the Raspberry Pi. We open up the PHP MyAdmin page and log in with the credentials that we created. Once we're logged in to PHP MyAdmin, you can see all the different administrative tools that we can use. We select Signu Blog, which is the database that we're using for our WordPress page. Under here, we select WordPress Posts. We 
Once this loads, you can see all of the content that's been uploaded to our page. It includes the title of the post, the text that was posted, as well as any images that were included. So this is all storage for our page. Now, we'll log into our WordPress page. We go to the IP address of the Pi, which will automatically route us to our WordPress page. Once we get onto the page, we can see the different posts that have been made. These include text and pictures that were posted and uploaded to our database. Here you can see that there's been several posts that have been made, including pictures and text. To further test our web server, we'll do the next test on Windows. On our computer, we'll log into the IP address of the Raspberry Pi on our network. From there, it routes from the main page to our WordPress page. And here we can see the hello world comment and you can also log in and access all the features just the same as you would on the Raspberry Pi. Now we log into the PHP My Admin page for the Raspberry Pi. Yet again we go to the Signu blog which is the database that was created for our WordPress page. For the file server that's running on our Pi, there are a couple steps that need to be done. First, we needed to mount the external hard drive that we had onto the operating system. We also needed to install Samba, which uses SIFS, which is Common Internet File System, which allows the Raspberry Pi to act as a SIFS file server. We'll now test the file server on the Raspberry Pi as well as on a Windows PC. On the Raspberry Pi, we go to the folder browser. In the folder browser, we go up to the top level directory, select the media folder, and then USB hard disk drive. We then create another folder called test folder. And here, we create a text document in the text document we add a few lines of text save the file We now shift over to the Windows PC. On the network, we can see the Raspberry Pi device. On here, we open up the folders. We select the test folder and open up the text file that we made. We can see the revision that was made on the Raspberry Pi. We're now adding our own text from the PC into the text file. We save the file and close it. We go back to the Raspberry Pi and open up the text document. On here, we can see that the file has been changed and updated. Thanks for watching our video.